Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll show you a smart inventory tracker built entirely in Google Sheets using Apps Script. It's fast, lightweight, and best of all, it's totally free. You can add, search, update, and track your inventory in just a few clicks. Let's dive in. First up, you'll want to grab the template. The link's in the video description below. Make a copy for yourself, and I'll show you how to use it. All right, let's begin. This entry tab is where you'll key in asset details. There are other tabs too, but I'll come back to those in a bit. Okay, now we will start by entering some asset data. Just fill in the details. And when you're ready, click this to add the asset. Now, since this is the first time you are running the script, Google will ask you to grant some permissions. That's fine. Just follow the steps in the video to grant the necessary permissions. And it's done. We have added our first asset. Notice that it auto-generates a unique item code for this item. And the asset data is actually stored in the database sheet. The system also automatically records the action in the log sheet. This gives you a full audit trail so you can track who did what and when. Okay, next. If we press the clear form button, the input fields will be cleared, ready for the next entry. You can also load an item by typing the item name and pressing search. Here we can adjust some details and then add a new asset. The new asset will appear in the database. All right, let's go back and key in another category of asset. And as you can see, the item code is auto-generated based on the category. In the Settings tab, you can actually put in the category and the category codes. If you have more than one item with the same name, then this window will pop up for you to choose which one to load. Now if I make changes to it and I press the Update button, then the entry will now be updated. You can see the updated data in the Database tab. You can also go the Log tab to see the change that was made. Oh, by the way, I have added a function that can backup your database regularly. Firstly, you need to choose how frequent you want the backup to take place. Next, we need to create an empty Google Drive folder and copy the URL of the folder. And we paste it here. Next up, we can set the maximum number of backups to keep. For example, if I enter 10, the system will automatically delete the oldest backup whenever a new one is created, so you'll always have just the 10 most recent copies saved. All right, last step is to press this button. This will immediately create a backup of the database and also start the auto backup function. Let's check out our backup. Yes, the backup is right here and we will have more backups coming in hourly. And that's it. If you found this video helpful, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe for more automation tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.